SMT Nation, we back. Nation, it looks like Dish is getting serious about its retail position after all. And they're going to leverage the iPhone 15 in order to do that. They've got a huge ad campaign that they're going to be pushing. They've got a phone deal. They've got a service deal. And they've got some channels in which to sell it. Maybe there's some bright spots here for Dish after all. All right, I'll be sure to link the article from Dano Light Reading. It will be in the description. And of course, if you want to support the SMT YouTube channel, show your appreciation for all the great content here in our catalog. You could support us. The links are in the description. Okay, so Dish, the newest entrant into the game, right? Replacing Sprint as the fourth nationwide carrier has had a hard time. It's been rough. Uh, they've they've been hacked. They've been breached. Uh, ransomware. Uh, they have had a hard time with regulations. Uh, they've had a hard time with T-Mobile, Spectrum deals, uh, phone compatibility issues, network build-out requirements. It, they've been up against it. You know, and they have limited capital. They're a smaller company, you know, and it's really tough to do this networking thing without a CapEx in the 10, 15, 20 billion dollars annual range, right? So they're basically trying to achieve the impossible. But now one of those obstacles appears to have been, at least for the, in my perception, they're trying to take it on full force. And that is advertising, letting people know that they sell wireless service. There are people who do not know that Dish is in the wireless game. And they've been, you know, trying to get some brand notoriety. They've been selling Boost Mobile services as the owner of that company and prepaid. Then they launched Boost Infinite after they started building out their Project Genesis brand, which kind of more of like a temporarily placeholder of sorts. But now they've hired a high profile advertising agency to develop a full nationwide campaign for Boost Infinite, leveraging the iPhone 15, a very specific promotion for that phone and the service deal that comes with it. And one of those sales channels and distribution components is going to be Amazon. All right, so we knew about the Amazon piece. We broke that story several weeks ago in which they were selling you know, the $25 plan and, and we covered all that in a previous video. But now with this promotion, you handle two birds with one stone, right? You're talking about a phone and a service that people would be interested in. The iPhone 15 garners a lot of attention and it attracts a lot of eyeballs so you've got the right phone and then you just need the right plan and what they're doing here with this plan is for 60 bucks you get a basically an iPhone upgrade program for the annual and then you get yourself the service right which by the way it is truly unlimited when you're on native dish network uh, but you will be throttled after 30 gigs when you are roaming on AT&T right so those are kind of some important factors to know but in and of itself, this company, uh, which I'm, I'm looking for the name here, Gray New York is the name of the company. Uh, and, and they have put together this, this campaign uh, to kind of push the brand, give it some attention, and try to garner some eyeballs to the service. So this is an exciting time. This was one of the things with respect to marketing that Dish really hadn't tackled. I think what they finally realized is this service is not going to sell itself. We're going to have to get our service into multiple channels, including our own retail, plus something like Amazon. Remember, they've got an Amazon partnership with respect to the you know, AWS services. So this all kind of coming together gives them that opportunity. So you know, an iPhone 15, which prices at about 830 bucks, right? They're telling you we'll give you one of those plus service for $60 per month which I think for a lot of folks is pretty attractive considering you don't have to trade in a phone on the plan. So the promotion is key, right? The promotion is critical. Uh, you know, if they're going to get people to move over to this plan, to this service for this phone, uh, they had to market it and advertise it. So I think, I think this is a really good indication that they finally have taken on this component of their business. All right, so phase one was network build out. Right. They had two different marks they had to hit with respect to the national build and they hit those pops covered. And then, you know, they're they're trying to find a way to raise capital to be able to pay for the spectrum, you know, the 800 megahertz from from T-Mobile, from Sprint. So they're trying to manage that, but they had to address the retail presence. And now I think we're getting some of it. And who knows, maybe more comes of this. Maybe there's an additional plan. Maybe there's some additional sales channels 
Maybe they hit some new markets. I know voiceover NR is a big push they're trying to achieve. That might entice some folks to maybe consider switching. Maybe. Uh, possibly a secondary line. But, hey, they're doing eSIM, right? It's an iPhone. Uh, you know, this is exactly what people wanted. BYOD is an option for folks now at this time, right? So you can come on those terms. It doesn't have to be a deal like this. Uh, but this this is a good sign. You know, whether or not you feel that Dish is going to succeed is a totally different discussion point. I and, and we could present that here at the end. Do you guys think that this is going to be a successful ad campaign that is going to help Dish get some traction with Boost Infinite through this promotion with the iPhone and with the $60 price point plan? Or do you guys think they're going to need something else, something better, or something different? Sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.